Hi and welcome to Add More Zest. My name's Rebecca, also known as 4Kids at 147, and I am going to kit up three paint gem mini sets today. Um, I had an epiphany while filming last week. So you may have seen me unbox on my other channel this Art Dot storage case. Now it actually has four tiers. I was thinking of shrinking down the tiers at one point, um, just aesthetic on my desk. Um, but somebody mentioned in a whip and waffle comment that they were going to use these to kit up a high colour painting. Now, while I love my other art dot case for my high colour painting, it did make me think that maybe it would be nice to kit up multiple paint gems in this and then grab the drawer, the whole drawer, and take it into the conservatory when I sit down to diamond paint on paint gem because I tend to do those sat in there. Um, and then I thought rather than doing four, I will do three and then keep my canvases, the ones I haven't yet done, in the bottom drawer. And what I'm actually going to do is I'm going to mix the cap, the three sets up, the canvases, not the diamonds. I'm going to mix the three sets up and then whichever one I take from the top is the one that I'm then going to grab the drawer and go and do. Um, so the top's a bit of a mess. As you can see, um, I have a couple of advent bits in here, a grip mat that needs cleaning. Um, my little AB pens, um, because I normally took those into my other paint gem storage, or if I'm working on a painting with ABs, I tend to keep one with it. So I have a few there to grab, um, and then a little straightener and the ABs left over from the fan cell sort out that I haven't dealt with yet. Must put that on my to do list. So this little tray does come off, um, but I am going to keep that as it is. But what I want to do is use these drawers so I don't need these spacer things. Um, but there is plenty of pots for a paint gem. And if I decide to add some of my ABs, these pots will also fit in here. So I am going to be removing pots from here that I'm not particularly using. I might keep some in just to, you know keep it looking pretty and all lined up but we're playing it by ear here we're going with the flow for doing this so first up I need to determine what is going to be my first paint gem mini set I was thinking of spinning the wheel getting all three but I think it might be best to kit them up one at a time um and then deal with the canvases and stuff afterwards. So we have a little bit of suspense as well. So let's spit, these are all the paint gem sets I have at the moment. Um, my new ones haven't yet been unboxed, so I've not included the new ones, um, the new three, but first one, butterflies, very nice. So let me find butterflies. I have them all tucked up the top and I have loads. So I'm just ruffling through because another organization that I do want to do is sort out some sort of tag or tassel on the end of each of my paint gem kits. Oh, watch me have started from the wrong end. I did. I started from the far end and it was one in from the other end. But here is Butterfly. So the Butterfly set does have full on names for them all. They are absolutely gorgeous. And I think these would potentially suit some AB diamonds as well. So to have a quick flick through, they are all of this orientation. Maybe not the ones that are darker, but can you imagine adding in some of those blues and yellows and oranges? Really make the butterflies sparkle. 
So I think we will be adding some ABs to this one. But that, they are gorgeous. And they all seem to have this black outline as well. Oh, maybe not all of them, but quite a few of them do. And I actually really enjoy doing, oh, I've ended up back at the beginning, um, or at least I think I have. Yeah, I really enjoy doing that sort of black outline and then colouring it in. So that is going to be a fun, fun set. So let's try and keep semi-organised while I have a few to do. Let me grab my diamonds. So my diamonds are all still stored in their original packs, but they do have the names on them. So these ones that I've grabbed out, none of them are butterfly. So let me just have a quick flip through. No, I thought that was butterfly, but it's not. It was bakery. It began with a B though. Here we go. There's butterfly. So let's pop those away. And let's see how much static we're going to be dealing with today. Because that is probably going to be my downfall, is any potential static. And let's turn them round. So I do like to kit them up in number order, like in alphabet order followed by number order. It is my preference. So I'm going to pop my labels on first up. But because I'm not dealing with the strips of four tubs that are connected, what it does mean is I can just do the bags in order and just find the DMC number and then pop them back. So D, E, and we should have plenty, I'm pretty sure two four six eight okay so it's not quite 60 it's 50 is it 50 something my brain's not working now with maths six times eight or eight times six which one works better for me neither <laughs> there's probably such a simple sum okay 48 48 in each one 12 and this has got 36 38 so I've got I'm gonna have 10 pots spare by the time I'm done which means I've got plenty of space uh, there are some that are very very high numbers but even if I've got a full sheet I'm still going to end up at exactly 48 so Unless I end up opening a paint gem that has two sheets worth of stickers, I should be all good to fit them into one tray, which is always a bonus. So H, I, J, this is probably the most boring bit. Uh, though cutting down the canvases is boring, but what I will do is I will just do a couple on camera to show you what I do to the canvases to prep them. Um, I do like to prep them, but then I will do them off camera. Because I think by the time I have kitted up three paint gem mini sets, especially if they have this many colours, especially if I do have to deal with static. Oh, where's P? Um, I think you'll all be over me trying to find things to chat about to film. <laughs> I think I will have chatted and waffled enough. Uh, P, Q, okay, I'm struggling with my alphabet. R, S, I'll just speak out loud for a minute. T, U, V, W, all the way down here. W, where's X? X, X, Y, 
and then Z. Uh, they do often use every letter of the alphabet. So even though I am hunting, it's because I do tend to know that they use every letter. Uh, numbers wise, they don't always use every number. But we do have one, two, three, four, five. We don't have a six, but we do have a nine, which can look like a six, depending on how neatly I put my bottles away at the end of the day. <laughs> so then we go to seven, eight, nine and then we have four that are just symbols so i'll just pop a symbol one on each and then there we go oh that top's not screwed on properly i was wondering why that was sticking up a little bit too high so there is my bottles ready so let me grab my mega tray to help with any spillages and it's actually 379 that is my first one and it is a beautiful set of diamonds and they all fit so in any of my other storage that i use for paint gem these would not have all fit um, because of how many. So maybe some of the outlines are actually in this 379 as well as being in 310 because there are definitely some that are in 310. Oh, we do have static in this one. Let's see how bad it is. Mm, yeah, they're pretty jumpy. I think it might be time to crack out the dryer sheets. I think maybe I got a little bit lucky with that first one. So let's get them all in one place. And then of course, because they have got static, they don't want to go out of the plastic tray because it's plastic and plastic and plastic that makes them misbehave. So we'll struggle with this one, but then I will get my dryer sheets for any future ones. Okay, so 317. Then we've got 414. How are we doing in this one? No, we're jumpy. Okay, still using the dryer sheets sent to me from a subscriber. I still have quite a bit left. Uh, I have little bits that are like this ready. Where's my big scissors gone? Who's been in here? Uh, these are quite handy to sort of chop up and pop in the bottom of your bottle so that they can just get a little bit of help with potentially, you know, losing a little bit of the static in the action of tipping diamonds out of the bottle and back in. So it is, it is best practice. Sometimes I really can't be bothered, <laughs> but it is best practice to have some little sort of strips in your bottles um, that can really help with static. So actually this 317 that had static, can you see they're still sort of climbing up the side of the bottle? So by popping a little dry sheet in, and shaking it about that dryer sheet touches the diamonds and therefore they're not sticking on the bottle as much they are still a little bit but the action of tipping your diamonds out into your tray tipping them back it helps to sort of calm that static down slash potentially prevent it um, from starting up so I'm going to cut up a few of these and try and do best practice with this set. I'm in that sort of mood today, but we'll see how long it lasts. What I also want to do is cut a piece that's a little bit bigger, um, not bigger than the bag, 
and then those that do have static I pop it in and I shake um, I have in the past sort of wrapped it round my finger and pop my finger into the bag and sort of try to get the dry sheet to touch all the diamonds and do it that way but I have found that the popping a piece in and shaking it in the bag is the most effective that I've found so far most effective way of doing it and then that dryer sheet will go round and catch up the rest and it means I don't end up with um, like a crumpled up piece of dryer sheet because it's been wrapped round my finger it ends up being a lot better so this one does have static too if anybody watched my June waffle of what year would it have been 2022 um, I did paint gem mini sets for that I did one paint gem a day and I think I kit up three sets for that um, I didn't have this same process for dealing with static when I was doing that and oh my goodness me it was it was an epic um kitting up a bit like this one is but oh my goodness me I was exhausted by the end of it um I may well be taking a break myself on this one but I am going to put it all as one video so at, at one of the points where my memory card saves or I need to change my battery, I didn't shake this one long enough, um, I am going to probably go and get myself a coffee, something to eat to sort of keep, keep me going through. But I'm going to do it as one video and I give it a bit more of a shake just to let that dry sheet piece that I popped in do a little bit of work 938 why can I not see it for looking this definitely says 938 okay let's let's go back and forward this is this is going to be fun why am I not seeing it Okay, I'm going to put that one to the side because for some reason I am not seeing it at all and then I've just gone and pulled out the wrong bottle. So 400, I can see that one. Now I'm going to keep it there, spotted it, see? Just keep my eye, just kept scanning over it then. Okay, that one doesn't actually have static but I have still got a piece of dry sheet in there just because I do think it's sort of best practice and maybe when I de-kit this um, I will try instead of tipping all the diamonds and the piece of dry sheet and them ending up floating around in my spares what I might try and do is keep hold of the piece of dryer sheet and actually just have them in the bottom of these and then if this system does work kitting up three at a time and de-kitting three at a time sort of a bit of a epic session then my dryer sheet pieces will be in there straight away okay nine seven seven I think for 938 I was looking for a symbol that was brown which is probably why I missed it uh, but we do have a few a few bags here that are being quite nice and not having too many issues which is really good because we have quite a few diamonds to get through This is number one of three. Okay, 820. Let's pop that one in. Now I'm not sure whether to do my ABs as I go along. So pick my ABs for each painting. Or what I might do 
and probably will be the best because while I have quite a few ABs, um, I may want to use the same AB colour Oh, for a couple of sets. Okay, I didn't do very well on that one. Mm -hmm. I'm obviously not being vigorous enough. I'm trying to keep my stamina up. Um, yeah, is I may do the ABs at the end for all three of them. I also, I do need to, when I know what paintings I'm doing for them all, I do need to get my display books. Did I put, I did put one in there. Uh, I need to get my display books and stickers for each of them because then I can potentially use the sticker to label up my drawers. Ha -ha. And that will tell me which each kit is um, because that would be handy to know. Okay, this has a little bit of static, but I'm gonna see if I can miss out the shaker bag step on there basis of it will be a little bit quicker and I have the dry sheet piece in there so it's still going to get that activity though I will say I have done quite a few paint gem mini sets as you may well know if you've been following this channel for a while and while the static um, which is more prominent in resin drills so it's a bit like a reassurance that they are nice drills. Um, static that you tend to get has never given me an issue when I'm actually doing the paintings, diamond painting them. Um, I've not noticed, you know, with the amount of diamonds that I tip out into my plastic tray from a plastic pot, um, which of course can aggravate static i've never found it to be like there is jumpy in any way shape or form that they are when i get up so do be assured it's not something that will haunt you the whole time you're diamond painting um in fact it it doesn't even enter my head when i'm actually working on the paintings it only enters my head when I'm kitting up and as I say that's what happens when you're working with resin diamonds and they're the nicer quality ones so I would rather have the good quality thanks very much in fact I might use I was thinking I was going to use the stickers that I put in the display in my display books which you can see one in my de-kitting of my last one um, I was going to use one of those stickers for labeling up my drawers however I actually use them on the spine of the display books when I've finished with a paint gem mini set and I don't think they'll transfer very well from one to the other. So here's my retro. I need to take a picture. Um, but I use the, the title name on the side of my... So if I use that on the side on my drawers... Oh, that didn't work. Uh, if I use that on my drawers, then... Then it's sort of a waste of a sticker sheet because I'll still need one of those stickers to do. And I know I could potentially, um, because they're from our shop and our design, I could potentially print one. Um, but you guys would have to buy two. And I kind of, I kind of don't want that to be the case. And I also don't want to try and change the files of every single one to have the title on it twice because that's Megan's job. And I already have given her a very, very big list of jobs currently, things that need doing for ideas that I've had. So I think I'm just going to use, because it's only temporary, 
I would rather have the niceness of the printed sheet for my final. I'm going to use the leftover Paint Gem stickers, these ones. I'm going to use these to label up my drawers because then it's a waste not want not. And I would much rather do that. I could just do it from memory, but if I end up with a couple of weeks where I don't end up doing any paint gem minis, I am likely to forget which set is which. Though, I, see, I don't think I want that sat on there. Oh, I could though. I could, because I do want this as reference, but I could tuck this inside um, my book. So I can just tuck that in there to help me label them up. I'm wondering, side note, sidetrack, sidetrack. If I cut this, and then, there that wasn't straight oh, I can see I can see it okay so let's try and get that a bit straighter just because it was not straight I can actually tuck that in there and I can see through the drawer I will show you <laughs> I will show you in a bit. Let me find, I've, got a, I've only got a small bin. So can you see it? I'm trying not to tip it too much, but that's tipped back a little bit. But when it's actually up straight, um, you can actually see through. And it tells me it's the butterfly edition. Okay, sidetrack, but I like that. I like that very much. I am gonna pop this in my display book so that when I have finished one and I am naming it naming it I can look because of course they're all going to be mixed up later but I can use the front cover to pop the name of it in the front of my drawers so I know which diamonds I'm dealing with and I can grab each one I'm very much liking this system so far. It might not work in practicality. We shall see. We'll see how long this video takes as well, because I may not like the idea of doing this every few months, <laughs> of doing an epic uh, breakdown and kitting up. I'm much more used to kitting up one painting at a time. So we won't get too eager because I've not got to painting number two yet. Um, I'm definitely doing it for this one, say, even if I have to go take caffeine breaks, I am going to kit up three of them. Even if I don't end up filming the rest of this until another day, I'm still going to do it. It's just whether I continue it going forward. Oh, got a diamond stuck behind the sticker. And then a couple of rogue ones. I think I have them all. So I ran out of my little squares. So I'm just gonna cut up a few more. In fact, if I do long, do the, it the long way first, it's actually easier. And it doesn't matter if I cut up too many because I still have more kits to do. So maybe on one of my little breaks for a cup of coffee, I will cut up some dryer sheets and things um, so that the tedious parts are not, um, are not something that you have to endure as much. Okay, I found 3840, which is next. Oh, there it is. Again, I'm looking for a paler blue and it's a and it's darker. But I'm liking the way these diamonds are behaving. We've had a few obstinate ones. 
but they're now behaving very nicely so all your well wishes for future kits would be appreciated be very nice if the next two kits that the decision wheel picks does the same thing be very nice okay seven seven five there it is i need to stop looking for the right color because it's really not helping me on these pale colors it's a pretty color though i think i'm also going to need a few pots for the black i've just seen the black bag which is actually the last bag that i do and it is jam packed so i think i might need more than one pot oh that one jumped from the little gap there straight into the pot. Well behaved little diamond. Very much appreciated. Okay, 906. I'm, I'm feeling like everything's falling in my favour for this idea, this kitting up. So far, I don't know if anybody else feels the same way. I've had static, but not a lot of it. I've figured out a way of labeling my trays that is actually really quite pretty. Um, it looks as streamlined as potentially a stick of wood, but it doesn't, doesn't use up a sticker that I want to use later. It doesn't involve me having two sets of sticker sheets which is potentially more cost. And I say it uses up the front of the box, which I keep anyway, because I do keep the front and the back of the box for each of them when I put them away. Right, 498, there it is. Um, so yeah, I have the fronts of the boxes. I now have a use for them. I have a place to put the names of them all by popping it in the display book because I've now started adding them to the display book as they're completed as I go along and they will just sit on my bookshelf so when I finish one I will pop it away in the display book and I will have the names of all the butterflies there ready so that I can do my best to get them right. So yeah, and I'll get a variety of canvases to do across three designs. Oh, I actually want that one next. There is a few rogue diamonds sort of that do float about. You will see them floating about. Um, they just get caught above the Ziploc part of the bag and then end up floating about. But I always, always have plenty of diamonds left over from Paint Gem. Um, a lot of my square stash is probably from Paint Gem kits and the leftover diamonds that I get. So I am not trying to piece together and check which is which on the rogue diamonds they are just going to go as part of my cleanup um, which I think I will go and get myself a small bin bag to be able to clean up as I go for these kits oh come on it's always that last little one getting out. Bit of a shake. Get the dry sheet moving. 740. Yeah, so if you see, this has actually got three stuck above the Ziploc line. So some of them have had that and they've escaped before I've got to the bag. And they're the ones that you can see floating around on my desk. But I'm not going to bother. 
with them. One rogue one. That's what the corner of the tray is for. Okay, seven, four, two. Here we are. Pretty, pretty. We've got quite a lot of dark colours in this kit, but there is some bright. And as I say, I think doing the black outline and then colouring in is so much fun. It's fun on big paintings like Hannah Lynn paintings, um, Mandy Manzano paintings. A lot of their paintings have the black outlines. Um, all right, first battery needs charging. I reckon we're going to end up going through a few today. Um, yeah, so paintings by Mandy Manzano, Hannah Lynn, say you're just the two artists that sort of pop to the front of my mind um, that quite often do things with a black outline and then you colour them in. And I love doing their paintings because of that fact. Um, that's the part that I enjoy so much is doing the black first and then filling in the colour and just watching it pop. So nice. And that's what I loved about the mandala set. Okay, we are nearly there. Uh, they're two tiny pieces, so let's pop two in there. And we do have a little bit of static to start off with. So I'm just trying to get the dryer sheet to touch as many of the diamonds as I can, just to calm them down and get them into their pots so they can ruffle around with the other piece of dryer sheet and calm down even more. Okay, two more to go. So we have three, eight, six, five. This is often a very big um, culprit for static is three, eight, six, five. And I'm still noticing the trend at the moment that the letter T is always 307. I can't remember if it was in retro, I'm pretty sure it was. It definitely is indoors, and I know that because I've done that one recently. Um, I'm pretty sure it was in retro as well, but I say I'm, I'm thinking about it a week or so after I've done it. So we'll see what happens in these three kits. Let's see what the letter T ends up being and see if it ends up being 307 each time. Okay, 310. Last one. So I just need one or at least one, maybe two more pieces of dryer sheet for 310 because that bag is chocker so how many extra tubs of 310 are we going to need quite a few i would say so that 310 is full now quite often if i end up with extra diamonds just like this for my paint gem sets i will use leftover stickers from my paint gems to write the numbers on. The only numbers I don't do it with, and I just don't bother doing a sticker at all, well actually there's three numbers, is 310, 386, uh, 3865, which is the white, or 5200, which is a bright white. The only time I would label up the whites is if the painting happened to have both, but it very rarely does. Um, if I only have the one colour left over, so in this case I only have the black as extra, then I just don't bother with a sticker. Um, if I had multiple, so like when I kitted up my big painting, then yes, I would end up adding um, 
labels to them just because there's more than one but when I'm only dealing with one I don't find it that much of a big deal okay so my butterfly edition and you can read that as I say that's actually gone a little bit further back because I've tipped the case back um, but when it goes in here it sits right near the front and I can read that it says butterfly edition so then we have drawer number two which I actually find that this piece of card gets stuck so I'm taking that out uh, this one has a few oopsy daisy bottles so let's try and get has this not got as many in it maybe 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 might not be as many bottles in this one because it's not looking as straight line as the other ones were yeah it's not quite as straight line as the other ones were but I mean that's not a problem I have loads of bowls so I'm not too fussed about that but what I do want to know is what is going to be kit number two so let me take my written sticker just one of my pretty blank ones that tells me that's butterfly let's take that off do a battery switch so I end up with a charged battery when this one runs out and let's spin the wheel and see what is going to be number two so we've had butterflies that will blank out what's going to be number two oh traditional food very nice was that one that was here this is where I'm trying to remember now where they were on my shelf they're not in alphabetical order or anything like that because that would be organized but no I have it here I didn't bother labeling this one because you can see that through the bag so let's pop that bag away in my spares where's the back of it oh it's in here I've popped the back inside here for some reason so I will need oh we are practically using the full tub on this one so this is traditional food um, I don't think I'd use ABs on this one um, while there are definitely some nice colours I think extra sparkling food is not necessarily something that I would do um, but these are all the images in this one that one is upside down <laughs> it's tacos um, oh very nice sets they're quite big these ones so there we go that is traditional foods with my sheet so that can go we are pretty much going to fill this whole pot with this one I think so let's start getting some labels on I will pull out the diamonds in a minute so A, B, C do the alphabet again D this is where I kind of want them to line up like the other one did Uh, C, D, E, F, G, Test, testing me with this many colours, G, H, I, J, K, L it's this little this little part of the sort of handle on the front of the drawer does make the bottles sit a little bit different. L M G 
again. I'm just trying to straighten them up as much as I can um, as I go along each row, as long as they're roughly straight. And then if that one goes in there, then actually there is the same amount of bowls. They just were shuffled a little bit different. L M N N O P Q R S T S T U V Sorry, I have to say this alphabet out loud, otherwise it's going to take me just as long as it did to stick her up butterflies. Uh, U, V, W. Oh, the letter T is not that yellow colour. However, that yellow colour is not in here. So maybe the reason 307 is not the letter T, is because we have no 307. X, Y, and then Z. And then numbers wise, we have one, two, three, four, five, four, five, Oh, we actually have a number six in this one. It is quite a bit of a different colour though. Six, seven, from number nine anyway. Eight, nine. Uh, we also have quite a few different symbols, some of which I've seen before, some that I haven't. So we have a heart, a lightning bolt. I am putting sort of darker colours together as I'm doing this. That one looks like a fish. Then we have a spade. I've not seen that fish one before. We don't have a coffee cup though. I like it when they use the coffee cup. We have an umbrella. Uh, we have another um, zodiac symbol. Okay, so we've got a star. Let's put the blues together. A club, a moon, and a diamond, and then a red one, and then the zodiac sign. Two spaces left, two stickers left. So these drawers, I say, as long as paint gem don't go to having two sheets of stickers, which never say never, because the amount of colours they do in these just keeps increasing um, and it could very well end up soon enough with them being a lot a lot more colours but for now they will all fit in one drawer and let me pop slide that down so I can see the one that I'm kitting up now. I'll say this one I'm not going to do ABs. So we shall see what the uh, last one, the decision wheel, ends up choosing as to whether I only have to pick ABs for one. But what I do want, oh, look, see, those diamonds were so easy to find this time, is the gazillion diamonds. And let's see what static game we're playing. I've still got a pile of rubbish over here, but we'll deal with that later. Um, I don't have any of these cut up yet. Okay, let's see what type of static we're dealing with. If we are gonna deal with the bit, then I might go and get myself a drink and cut a load up. Oh, but for now, we don't have any. That didn't have any. Okay, 300. Over here. Now, you could put these in DMC order, especially because they are um, in the bottles rather than those connected cases. You could, if you find it easier, Put them in DMC order when you put your stickers on. 
So these are all laid out in DMC order. So you can find the numbers rather than doing this little, this little struggle that I've had going on. And then um, change them up to be an order that makes sense for you when you're working on it afterwards because they're individual bottles. One thing I will miss, and this is just a little sort of thing I play, game I play, just a different way of doing a diamond painting. It's the small things, people. Um, when I do a paint gem mini normally with my cases that are strips of, of four connected together, I often, I pick, I always start in the bottom corner. So on here, I would start with the spade symbol, for example. Um, and then on my big diamond paintings that are all in these sorts of bottles, I would then go to whatever is the next. Most bottom left is what I tend to go for. Uh, unless I'm working on a really, really high colour confetti painting um, and I can end up missing symbols, in which case I go for the, the symbol that stands out the most. So my high colour painting, I do work on differently because of the amount of colours it has. Um, but most standard paintings, um, I start the most bottom left colour and then that's that's the next colour that I do. Uh, with the Paint Gem Minis, because they were in strips of four, while I did still start with that bottom left symbol, so in this case, in the one I showed you, it's, it's a spade symbol from a deck of cards. Um, I would then use, do any of the other three colours in that strip of four, you know, so that once I put the strip of four back, I didn't need to get it out again. Um, and then I would go back to the most bottom left and then I would do whatever else was in that strip of four. Um, and yeah, it was it was a fun little way to do the paintings um, where it varied up which one I was doing and then maybe part way through uh, the diamond painting itself, I'd try and guesstimate without looking at my diamonds what was going to be the last colour that I did um, because it wasn't necessarily the last sim the symbol that was the most highest up in a concentration it could have been any depending on those pots so I will kind of miss that little game <laughs> but I have a different game to play which is along the lines of which diamond painting am I going to be working on which one is going to be the top of the pile for me to do uh, which one is going to be front and center uh, and I will have variety well so far between some butterflies that will have ABs and some traditional foods that won't have ABs and then whatever my third one may be. And does it count out my, does it counteract my three paint geminis that I have yet to unbox, my three new ones that aren't included in this? Um, are they counted by the fact that I've kitted up three? Does that feel as though I've created space for three more? Maybe, maybe not. We'll take anything we can. At the moment, quite a lot of these bags don't have static, so I'm actually not putting dryer sheets in in the ones that don't. Whereas butterflies, while the static was not bad at all, um, more often than not, it had static, even if it was quite mild static. Whereas so far, have I had one or two that have had static but most of them it's just the stubbornness of getting them out of the bag 
so there's no point in adding bits of dryer sheet and extending this because I have another one to get up yet and I have another flashing battery so maybe that's when I will grab a brew and then come back to do the rest of this one and the last one it's not the best battery that I've had in this uh, that I had to put in this camera because my other ones were charging so I have some batteries that last longer than others and I have some that I save for doing whip and waffles and then I use my others for other videos so hopefully they'll last the whole video but on a big long one like this I, one I knew it was never going to happen uh, and second my one with the best battery life was charging after doing a weapon waffle so you win some you lose some when it cuts me off i will go and get a brew and come back to finish but 606 is full of static where will it cut me off today okay now are you going to behave yourself have put a little piece of dry sheet in the bottom of this one because we've got so much static to start off with. Beautiful. I will clear up some of my rubbish as well. Okay, three, three, four is right. I'm all brewed up. Uh, I did cut a few more dryer sheet pieces in case they were needed. Uh, this one doesn't seem to be too bad. Um, but I thought, you know what, let's just cut them up ready. Uh, what I also did was I trimmed down the two sets of canvases that we've already kitted up. I trim them down while having my brew also um, because I still have another set to do. So I will be showing you what I sort of do for prep. Uh, I am hoping to go and grab my display box for these as well. So I can sort of show you all of, I suppose all of the preparation I now do for paint gem kits. I used to put them into their books as a completely separate video and it was done as part of the breakdown process uh, and the completed process. But I found that that was getting a bit too much. Um, and I still could do them that way. However, I actually really like putting them in the books as I go along um, and actually prepping the canvases with the tape on and all of the you know all of that ready to go before um, I start working on them so I will do one as an example but my plan is to have the rest done sort of off camera because who needs to hear that guillotine trimming through three different sets of paint gems? Um, I do put them into my paint gem videos every now and then. So there are plenty of paint gem videos to watch back on. If you want the full detailed process, there is also plenty of completed videos of paint gem showing me putting them into their books. Um, and all that but now I do sort of do it slightly differently uh, only the past couple of kits I've done it differently by getting the book uh, while I'm finishing them up so I thought I will once I know what the next painting is um, on a battery change or maybe a toilet break being required I will get all three display books and prepare those and prepare the canvases and sort of show you what I do in that process by just showing you a small snippet of it rather than it times however many, 30 plus. 
you don't need to see me put double-sided tape on the back of 30 over 30 canvases you also don't need to see me trim down over 30 canvases either so you're already watching me kit up multiple different ones but for some reason this is a more enjoyable process for people to watch um, than just sticking double-sided tape on so I'll do a few I just won't do them all but so far I am loving the idea of this I'm loving the idea of you know getting multiple paint gem kits kitted up at once um, but actually working on multiple of them as well um, while I've very much enjoyed working on the sets that I have um, when I have them in their little storage thing my door set is actually currently in the conservatory uh, because I've, I've done the odd one or two every now and then um, I really like the idea of being potentially one of three different kits each time I get to do it um, and yeah while it's a big preparation process in relation to it um, and it's you know quite a quite a few diamonds to put into bottles and quite a few canvases to trim down and then even more so putting double-sided tape on the back of the canvases is quite epic um, I won't be doing all of that when I suppose the excitement of doing the paintings has died down um, it will just be a de-kitting of the diamonds just the diamonds when I'm finished a bit like when I de-kitted um, the retro set last week um, that was that was it you know it was de-kitted and it was already in the display book everything was done um, I can then in effect do my photos for my logbook for completed sets all at once so there will be three um, of course moved over into in progress but then it's likely to be three that are completed at roughly the same time um, we could end up having some crossover where I actually finish one of the sets before the others and depending on when that lands in the month it may end up in my logbook in different months but it means I can sort of take all three say photo batches together and then yeah move on to whatever the next three may be so yeah I'm rather excited I say I may get bored of it I may do it once and decide actually no it's not working for me I want to use this storage for something else um, it may work that as it gets closer to the likes of maybe June Waffle, maybe I want to use this storage for that. I still need to decide exactly what I'm doing for June Waffle. Um, but the month hasn't crept up on us yet. Uh, I may use my tray storage and just work straight off the trays. That's what I'd like to do, but it really does depend on how many colours the painting has as to whether I can get away with that or not but yeah it's nice to get a few more paint gem mini sets done I still have loads left <laughs> as you will be able to see by my decision wheel if you have a nosy when we pick the last set uh, I still have loads to do. Uh, I think I've done more than I have left to do though. So on that ratio, we're doing well. Maybe I'll have to count the numbers when uh, I unbox. <coughs> I do the unboxing of the next three to add in. See how many more they may end up bringing out in between. 
uh, but for now I definitely the display books are definitely taking more space than the paintings themselves uh, but they're bound to anyway I've not actually counted counted it makes me eager to know now let's do a little side pause so two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, fourteen, sixteen. So I've currently got seventeen kits, um, not including, say, the three that are on their way. So twenty, uh, but then we're going to kit up one of them. So nineteen sets that I have not done, not including these three because they're kitted up. Does that make sense? I don't know. We'll see if the numbers work out in our favour and maybe we'll shuffle them about according to if they do. And then two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, fourteen, sixteen, eighteen. So I have 21 completed books if we count um re we count retro. Um that is only not on the shelf because I haven't taken my photos. So 21, but that's actually 22 sets. And the reason for that is um, around the world, one and two both fit in the same book because they're bigger paintings. So they take up less space and you can actually get two into one display book. So 22 completed kits. What did we say for these? 19 if we don't include these three. Oh, and I've also got doors that is like, as I'm actually filming this, it is only a couple of paintings off being finished. As you're watching this, it's probably finished. So if we say, What do we say? 22 finished. And if we actually said that these three, because they've only just been kitted up, they're not finished, then we're half and half. If my maths, if I followed the right maths and not got confused with the numbers that I've said, which is quite possible as well. So half and half, 22 sets completed if we include doors that... As you're watching this, it's completed. As I'm filming this, um, because I'm filming this just a smidge in advance because I knew it would be a long one, um, is like two paintings off being done. So by the time this is up, it's definitely done. Okay, where's five 200? There it is. Um, yeah, by the time this is up, it's definitely done. So half and half. 22 paintings done and 22 if we include these to do so provided i get these done before paint gem release anymore i'm on the winning half <laughs> okay that's got a little bit static not enough to give me too much trouble but i am going to pop a dryer sheet in there just to help out so yeah, that's a lot, 44, that's a lot of sets. That is a lot of sets. It doesn't feel like a lot of sets though. Anyway. Okay, that is traditional foods, diamonds done. So let me get that tray back in. I'll keep that piece of dry sheet. That was actually a really nice set to kit up. That behaved itself. Okay, draw number three. Let's pull up my decision wheel again. Are we ready? Which is gonna be number three? Spin. Oh, her story. That is an older kit. It is one I have only added to my collection quite recently. Um, they actually had two of them. Okay, where is her story? 
there it is um they actually had two her story editions but for some reason they have discontinued one of them and um, i'm not sure of the reason why unfortunately i wasn't able to get the first one uh, it was right when they first launched them all like all of their mini sets and um yeah, so it was right at the beginning. They did actually have two, but then they've stuck to one. And um, so I say I've got one of the more recent reprints. So I am kind of gutted that I don't have that one. But these are different in the fact if you look at the size of the amount of diamonds on these compared to these. Like this one has been trimmed down, but even so, like look at that. How big. It's, it's like a full diamond painting these so there are only four so that'll be quite a bit of a how do we mix them in with the others uh, that will be a bit of an epic one um, and it has a gazillion diamonds loads of diamonds uh, we do also have the names of each of them so whether that has something to do with why they don't do the first set I have no idea um, but I do have the one set and you never know they may bring out some others in the future so um, the stickers that we do for the books for her story do actually include both of them even though only one is available now so if you do still have the older version from the original then the stickers and display book do cover that but I only have the one um it's actually kind of nice to do one that's that's a little bit different mixed in with it all I'm not sure how I'm gonna do the display book for her story because it's only got four um it's it's one i will get a display book for it and i will put them in a display book but what i normally do and you will see say when i do the display books when i finish putting these diamonds in um is at the minute on the display books i cut out some of the pages so they come with uh, 20 inserts which you can do back to back which would give you 40 um, but because of the thickness of the diamonds I like to limit it to sort of one kit's worth um, apart from say the likes of around the world because there's only six in those so I make that a 12 uh, but those that are a 12 or an 18 F G H, those that are a 12 or a 16 then they are just one set per book um with her story i don't want to cut out the additional pages and just have the four pages in there because i think it will be able to team up with something later um so mystery mystery two um which i have done um that one is only four images as well they're the same sort of size as her story so they're really big ones um, and for that I have um, put them in a folder to go with mystery number one so they're both going to go together I haven't done mystery number one yet so because of that um, there is only one in that book at the moment um, but yeah what I think I'll do is I will, sorry, I'm struggling with the alphabet again. Hang on a minute. P. Let me just get through the alphabet. Q, R, S. And here we go. T is 307. So we're back to having 307. T, U, V W X X Y I'm 
Z. Okay. Um, yeah, what I think I'll do with her story is I will still get the book. Um, I just won't cut out a page. So I'll get the book, I'll get the card, and I will just pop the four in and then leave the rest of the pages blank. Um, and if there's ever a future kit that comes out that will pair nicely with it, then I will pair that with it. Or if anybody does happen to have the other Her Story, the original one, and they don't want it, then do let me know if you've not completed it and you don't want it. Um, say, I'm not sure, I can't even remember what was in it. Okay, so we're done with those. So let's go for the other symbols. And I think I'm just going to put them on the order that they're on here. So they sort of go brown to orange to blue. Orangey to blue. And then we'll get my diamonds out. And hope we have static heaven. That's what I'm hoping for. And then I will go and get my display books, etc. Uh, and my card, etc. And prep a load of the canvases bar one of each uh, and then I can show you how I do that. Right, diamonds, her story diamonds. Oh, I've still got mushrooms to do. I keep seeing, <laughs> keep seeing bags with different things on and it's like, oh, still got that one to do. It's like, oh, still got that one to do. <laughs> I've still got like autumn and bakery and stuff as well. I think I've still got summer and rainbow. Anyway, okay, I found the diamonds for her story. So let's stop reminiscing. In fact, will my, if I come off that and then go back on to which paint gem mini set, it's not blanked them out. It always blanks them out. Has it changed the settings on them? Oh. There used to be a setting to blank it out when you'd chosen it. Because if you can see, um, these two were blanked out because they were picked. And I don't know why it's not done it. Okay, so let's let's take them off. So traditional food, butterflies, uh, retro and dolls, we'll take them off while we're there, and her story. So, oh, it's giving me an advert. It says I've got 17 left in my decision wheel one of those is a free option so I have an option um, that's down on my decision wheel as free which basically means I get to pick which one I want to do um, so that makes 16 and then I haven't added in the three that I've yet to unbox so that takes us back up to 90 so that's right so my numbers are right that's good I have got on my decision wheel what's on my shelf at the moment it's always good to have that I did have quite a bit of static in 520 but I'm not going to let that take the whole kit because 520 and 3865 have always been key static diamonds. Okay, 712. Are we having a static kit for the last kit? That is the question. Yes, we are. So far, yes, we are. Okay, the app's now frozen. So I can't even remember what I was going to pull up and I pulled that up. I need to sort through my decision wheels for my big paintings. Uh, make sure that they're all up to date. Uh, I am, I, I 
think you guys would have seen my logbook video already. I can't remember which order they're in. Um, but I'm pretty sure I've done logbook, my logbook update video already. So I will be updating my decision wheels after that video. Uh, and I will be kitting up a new painting next week um, to replace Koala. I'm working on Walking in the Rain in between. So Walking in the Rain or some of these paint gem or maybe both. So with Walking in the Rain, I like to do, use the camera, um, I like to do like two sections of cover paper with Walking in the Rain. Just checking I've got a dry sheet in. Um, yeah, I like to do about two sections. Sometimes I will stretch to three, but I have found two to sort of be the comfortable number of cover paper sections to do in an evening. Uh, if I get to start diamond painting maybe earlier one night than I do another night, then sometimes I get those two sections finished. Um, it's actually seven sections across for the painting itself, seven cover paper sections across. So occasionally I'll do three if I get to start diamond painting really early or maybe I get to diamond paint on a weekend, um, I'll do three sections. Or sometimes I'll do a single section for my whip and waffle and then I've got three sets of two to do for the rest of, of the week. Um, but yeah, sometimes if I get to finish or if I get to diamond paint and finish and still want to do diamond painting, then it's actually really nice to switch to these paint gem minis. Uh, especially when working on such a large painting. It gives me a sense of achievement finishing some. Oh, that was trash anyway. I don't want you. You're not even shaped like a diamond. All right, try and mix those up. You see they're sticking to the lid and everything. Give those a good shake. Okay, 437. So some of these sets I do find are a bit more prone to static than others, but I never know when they're going to be. Uh, it just looks like we have all our static at the end because I'm definitely getting it in all of these so far. Is it good that I prepped a load of dry sheets or have I maybe pulled this by prepping a load? Who knows? But yeah, I'm going to have to have a look at my decision wheel and see why it's not blanking them out because that's going to be annoying. But it doesn't look like the option's there anymore, so I wonder if they've taken it and want me to pay for it, which would be rather annoying. Anybody else got timely decisions on Apple? Has anybody else find, found that it doesn't grey things out? I need to check maybe if Koala greyed out when I did it for that. Or is it because I've gone in to edit it before it's managed to save itself after spinning it the last few times? But I would have thought the others would have greyed out. So I don't know what it's playing at. Makes me wonder. I've just shut it down and reopened it. What was the other one I did? Round diamond painting. Yeah, it's blanked out my koala. So I don't know. I will have a look in the future and see if I can figure out why it's not graying out. It's not a big deal because quite often when I add in new diamond paintings that I've got and sort of update my lists, I get rid of the greyed out ones anyway. Um, because the wheels are quite big, some of them. My large square diamond paintings, thin little slivers. So actually getting rid of some of them can be helpful. Uh, and can be quite nice to just see a current list. So I suppose it, it's not a big deal. I'm just glad that I have spotted it today 
um, and not spotted it next time and then had to uh, remember the three sets that I'd just finished. Or maybe even go into my logbook to check which sets I'd just finished if my brain decided to not let me know. Because uh, it may well be that her story actually does get finished a lot before the others because I've only got four of them. So it depends where it ends up in the mix-up stack when I do a shuffle uh, as to where that'll be. My watch has picked up bits off my cardi. Try and get those off. Yeah, we've still got... I think we're just going to have static in every single bag. Just to test, just to test the patience. At the end of the day, it's just testing me. Oh, and I'm throwing them everywhere. Got two floating about. Get in there. Okay, four, three, four. So all of these have been around the same place. Where's the other one? Oh, it's there. In the middle. Sometimes it's easier when there's not many diamonds, when it has static. And sometimes it feels harder because you think, oh, it's just a few diamonds. Couldn't you have just behaved? But then you can get the dryer sheet to touch them all and calm down the static a lot easier when there's only a few in the bag. So it has pluses and minuses. There is one stuck behind the sticker. Okay, that's done. 801. Getting better at figuring out where they are. Ooh. You're a little bit jumpy, but not too much. I'll take you. Can we have the rest like that, please? Get us, get us through this last stretch. If I can get hold of that. Last stretch. And then I get to the fun part. I get to get them all prepped and get them all in the drawers ready. Ready to go. And then maybe diamond paint with some of them soon. Because that would be fun too. To start on some new ones. Because say, as I'm filming this, Dawes is very close to being finished. Um, I am saving one of them for the whip and waffle that you would have already seen. Uh, for Sunday's whip and waffle. And then my plan is for next week's Whip and Waffle, because I've not yet kitted up a large painting, due to me being good and de-kitting retro first, which I'm very proud of myself for doing it in the correct order, for doing it in the order that I finished them, rather than sneaking in de-kitting Koala so that I could kit up a big one quicker. Um, yeah, so for because I'm de-kitting and kitting up my next one for my big ones, both are next week. Um, I'm going to do another paint gem on Sunday's Whip and Waffle, but it's going to be one of these. So you end up seeing at least two different sets in Whip and Waffles. And then I'll be working on whatever my next painting is that I kit up for a while. Uh, I'll still, of course, be working on Walking in the Rain on Thursdays, and that will keep going. On Thursdays is my more continuous large project, and that will keep going until it's finished. So it'll be quite a while on that one if you prefer to see a little bit slower progress. But Koala was a little bit different to normal. He definitely was finished a lot quicker than I normally finish them because he was small and round and cute. And therefore, 
and I had a week where I could actually diamond paint. So combine those two together and he got done really quickly. Okay, let's get this in here. And get my Rogue Diamond. Okay, four, nine, eight. Some of these are not ending up in the right way, but I'm sure I'll figure them out when I'm actually working on them. I have no idea how long this video is now. I have not paid attention to how long it is. But I, th I think it's been a lot easier than June Waffle hitting up a three was from a couple of years ago. And it's nice to see it in a different concept. And I'm really looking forward to it. Now I'm on this sort of last one and I know what the last one is. So now that I know what all three of my paintings are, um, oh, I still need to do my ABs. So I'm not going to do ABs for her story either. Uh, there are definitely some kits that I personally don't think ABs suit. Um, you could put them on every on anything. You could put ABs on anything. Uh, but I personally don't want extra shiny on food or people. people. Um, I could potentially put some in like the, the roses in a hair maybe. But it would only be that one painting. So I don't think I'm going to do it on any. Because uh, I feel like I'd be highlighting one and not the rest. So hang on. I could do... Mm, no, I'm thinking I could do a little bit of the like yellow round a, a sari. Or maybe the earrings as well. Okay, maybe I will have a look and see if some ABs work for her story. A sort of different accents. I definitely still don't want it on the food one though. Oh, I didn't put a dry sheet in with that one and they are a bit bouncy. Um, yeah, I definitely don't want it on the food one. But actually looking at the pictures on here, I do think there might be elements that I could put ABs that wouldn't be distracting because I don't want them on faces. Um, but accessories that the ladies are wearing, like earrings, they sparkle. So maybe we'll add some on there. Okay, one, six, four. Where are you? Where are you? Where are you? It's definitely one six four. Okay. Oh, there it is. I nearly said I'm not finding it. I'll do it later. And then I found it. Oh, we definitely have static in this one. Okay. You get in there. Got myself a piece of dryer sheets. Try and get it all shaken up. Let's see how many we can get out. I've, I've got a feeling I might need to do this one. Shake it up twice. So I have left the dryer sheet in there. It can often be easier to take it out. But I did have a feeling there was so many in that bag that I thought the last few are just going to need a little bit of TLC as well. Let's pop those in. I'm just hoping that when I go and get the display books for these and the stickers and the covers for these that I don't need to print any. Because that would just take even longer. Because we tend to print things in batches, but of course things sell at different rates. Um, 
and we tend to then restock whenever we, we go to pack an order and something's not there for it. So we'll, we'll end up seeing if I end up pinching the last of the stickers or if I have to print any stickers or covers as prep. Oh, there we go. I also will grab my card. Uh, I have double-sided tape in here. I keep trying to think what else it was I wanted to bring into my craft room. It was another one of the short bookmarks. There's a few things that I still need to bring in from the shop back into the craft room. Either get a second, a second one, um, or it's things that I keep forgetting to bring in. So ever since I moved my squares from three boxes to four, I only have three short bookmarks for dividing up the boxes, for holding my place in the boxes when I de-kit. I only have three bookmarks. I keep forgetting to bring in a fourth for the fourth box. It's a bit like keep forgetting to get foam board. I even mentioned to hubby today I need foam board he's like should we go get it I'm like no it's like it's the weekend shopping at the weekend is not fun I just need to remember to go through the week and actually pick some up um also my daughter borrowed my glue dots for some wedding invitations and those wedding invitations are in the shop because she needed to print some stuff as well. So she's she's got a box with all her bits in and it's just it's just currently sitting in there. But for some reason, don't ask me why, because I haven't asked her yet, so I have no idea. Uh, I had two boxes of glue dots in my craft room with 300 odd glue dots in each. I had two boxes that had got damaged in sort of transit to me. Um, but of course the glue dots are perfectly fine. So rather than put them in the shop, I was just like, oh, I'll get through them eventually. Because we do use glue dots for other things like these wedding invites. But for some reason, she's decided to take both boxes. So every time I've needed to change my pen with a glue dot, I've been pinching a tiny little, of, of like two or three glue dots that I had on a little bit of paper strip that I had in my paint gem boxes. Uh, so that if I did take them on holiday and needed to change my glue dot, I had, I had some with me. I've had to pinch those out of both of my paint gem tubs because she's got my glue dots and put them in the shop and I keep forgetting to get them back out again. So maybe when I go and get display books, I will try and remember. Uh, it's gonna be a while, I've got a few more colors to do, um, but I will try and remember to also get a small bookmark and pinch my glue dots. Sorry, the door's going. Um, and Luna's going mad and I think that's the Tesco delivery as well so food shop day um yeah so I'll try and remember to get those as well I did get my stickers for my diamonds the other day before I did my ABs so I did get that and actually bring them in um my small stickers that I use you know, if I do need to label up a pot and I've not got these paint gem ones handy or something. Um, I do still have a few from the advent in here, but I do need to bring some more in at some point. Especially if I'm going to be doing a few more of my sort of small diamond paintings over the course of this year. I may end up needing more stickers. And I'm sure there's more than that that I will end up needing. But yeah, I just for some reason haven't got yet. 
I'm sure there'll be something else as well that somebody will remember me saying. Or going to do a video. That's what I normally do is I go to do a video and I'm like, ah, I can't. Tweezers as well. I, I think all my, I do have some toolkits actually that I can pull tweezers out of. Um, and maybe that's what I need to do is sort of break down a load of the toolkits that I have. But for some reason, I seem to take all my tweezers into the shop. Uh, they're sometimes used um, for the trays. Uh, just if there ends up being a little bit of plastic that gets stuck in, in the sort of spout, the tweezers just pull it out. Um, yeah, and, and I seem to have just got... All of my sets of tweezers have seemed to end up in various different places in the shop. Uh, I do have a set in here. I just only have one. Um, and people like to borrow them. So I like to have more. It's like pens. All the pens went into the shop. I hardly ever use... I do use a pen in the shop, but I tend to just use the one in the one place. Um... And yet my whole bundle of pens is in the shop. And they're probably used in the house more. It's just the way it works, isn't it? It's what happens when you move things about. Once the weather gets nicer, I think it will be a lot easier um, to just potter between the two, between the shop and the house and the nicer weather always as well makes me want to organise things a little bit more. Finish off those fiddly little things. So like getting um, a bit more art up on the walls in this craft room. Uh, now that I do have space above my drafting table. Uh, and there's a few more little organisation bits that I want to do in here, like my phone board for my spare storage and things. And I'm more likely to do all of those once the weather gets a little bit nicer. So maybe when it does, I will actually pay more attention to bringing bits in here. The only reason I think I end up having the launch items in here and making sure that, you know, my copy of each goes away on my tray storage and stuff is because I have to bring it in here for a video. If I didn't bring it in here for a video, I would probably forget to let myself have launch item and actually have trays for reference so I actually know what colours we have done and actually be able to see a visual rather than just looking at images. Anyway I am waffling about all sorts now because we are getting further into the kidding up process and I've waffled about a lot of things kitting up already. Uh, but I am really liking this. The fronts of those boxes are doing absolutely perfect at showcasing the painting names uh, by slipping them down the front. So when I do hold them up to the camera, they do move back ever so slightly. They lean back just because of gravity. Um, but... They're really close when, you know, things are, are stood up as normal. They're really close to the front. It is really, really clear to see which one each is because it's a solid black typeface. Um, so, yeah, it works out absolutely perfect to use that for my trays. Uh, for the fronts of the boxes. I did put dry sheet in that one. Okay, 3722. We must be getting there now. I think we've got a few bags with not many in them, which are always deceiving. Uh, when there's not many diamonds in, you can end up with more little bags than you realise. Oh, let's... 
I wasn't going to pop one in, but there is a little bit of static in that one. Try and get in the habit. I've got, I think I've got enough cut to finish off the colours. So I may as well just pop one in each. It saves me popping them back into my dryer box and having them float about. And they can always be used for future kitting up. So I don't have to keep that's also a bit of trash don't need you okay two two one coming back down here you guys can probably see how many diamonds i've actually put into tubs a bit easier than i can because you're looking at it from above and that's why i've got my ab's in the thinner ones for that very reason Right, seven, two, two. Let's shove you all over there. Ooh. Let's take the top off without taking the bottle out. At least it gives me a chance to tighten up all these bottles as well. Just because they don't get as tightened up with packaging. Uh, back to seven, two, one. We've really got to be nearly there. That one's going to test me for static. There we go. Okay, what are we on next? 7.20. Seven twenty. Oh yes, we don't have that many left. If I can get in the bags, mm. this one's borderline whether it needs the dry sheet. But no, it's behaving. I've got a dry sheet in the pot. Just sometimes they have static, but you can still get them out the bag, and sometimes they are jumping everywhere and you really need to use the dry sheet before you take them out of the bag. This one is a jumpy everywhere one. And I, I judge it by how far up the side of the bag they jump as to whether to put my dry sheet in first or not. This one also has a lot of diamonds. So let's see how many we get out by leaving the dry sheet in. And then the last few jumpy ones, we'll get them to touch the dryer sheet before we take the sheet out. This sheet's done well though, it's done three kits and it's still, it's still taking the static out of the diamonds. I mean, I know we didn't have many in traditional foods at all, so there wasn't many to deal with, but it's still done extremely well dealing with static and that one is jumping right up the bag practically touching the top of the bag that one while stood up that way static does not agree with gravity does not want to deal with gravity at all there we go get in beautiful I think we do just have these last three now. And I've got four pieces of dryer sheet left. Perfect. I managed to cut up exactly the right amount. Bar one extra little piece, but that's fine. So we'll get the last of these done. Then I will grab the books and do off camera I'll do the last bits of prep so I will put double sided tape on the backs of most of the canvases uh, because her story is only four I think I will just prep her story with you um, because there's only four of them so we'll trim down the canvases and put double sided tape just on the back of the four of them but I will prep um, butterfly and traditional foods. I will do 
the double sided tape and stuff on the back of those off camera but then I will go and grab the display books and the front covers and the stickers and then we can get all the books ready as well right I'm just going to put those two in because I've, I've popped my dryer sheets on my shelf and it stops me getting the whole box out to just put a little square in because this I will end up throwing now. Uh, it's done three kits. I can cut a fresh piece for the next time I'm bagging up. But there we go. Her story is in. So as I say, it does tip back a little bit, but can you see how even, even tipping back just a little bit, they're really clear to see the three. And then we'll get the bottom set ready or the bottom tray ready for me to pop the canvases in after we've done a little shuffle. So stay tuned and we'll get part, I don't know, one, two, three, part four, maybe done. Okay, so I have been and got my bits I've got my glue dots. They have very nearly, actually, she has very nearly gone through a full box of glue dots. But anyway, I've brought one back into the house. Uh, I also brought myself another divider for my squares boxes. So just so you can all rest easy now that that has been done. Uh, okay, mega tray can go away. I've also got um, card. I do have some more loose sheets of card. Um, I have like a box ready to package up, but it was buried under stuff. So I just grabbed um, some packs of 20 sheets of card and then some of the loose sheets that I had because I like to put the card in as well. I've also got my covers. So as you can see her story, there is two different sets uh, and it's this set that we're doing. So I've got my sheets and my stickers and I've got my display books. So I have prepared the canvases for butterfly and traditional foods off camera because there's a lot. Uh, but while her story only has four, let's do it on camera. So I like to, of course, frame these and put them on the black card, uh, but I don't like these numbers and I prefer the edge to be straight or as straight as possible. So I'm gonna chop that edge off and then I'm gonna try and get about the same sort of distance all the way round. That one ends up being a little bit funny, but then we'll have to get it on the rest okay so there we go we've now got sort of a neater edge or at least in my opinion a neater edge for each side and I like to do that on all the paintings uh, I offer I, I tend to just do it by eye especially for the first one um, and then I push it and butt it up against the top part of my trimmer for the other sides. This is probably the smallest trimmer I own. Um, I have quite a few um, because we do use them in the shop. Why on earth I decided to bring the smallest one in here, I do not know. Uh, I actually think I might have to bring one of the others that's that's not used very often in the shop in here because it's a little bit bigger. But for now, we are fine with this one. It, it was only, I think, traditional food, which is an older one. It's an older set. It doesn't have the numbers on the bottom. That's how I know it's an older set. Um, it's only really that set that I struggled. So I chop off the edge, but when I actually turn this round, it was still longer than my trim. So I don't think it's going to cause me a problem that often. So if I find there's one in the shop that I'm just not reaching for, then I might bring it in here. 
Uh, but yeah, I like to trim those up before they have diamonds on. As you can imagine, especially with the likes of this one, once they have diamonds on, game over trying to get a straight edge on these. So now these will give me a nice straight edge with a nice border when they're on the black card. What I also like to do is, this is what I used to do when they were finished, but I now do it straight away, is just two strips of double-sided tape. Tends to just be one at the top, one at the bottom so that when it comes to popping it on the card and in the display book, the tape's there. I don't wanna be going and finding my tape and putting my tape on at the end of finishing each and every one. I would much rather just fight with peeling the backing off and stick them straight into the display book once they're done. So, I've done this, as I say, for all the other sets, but that is now her story done as well. Pop the scissors and stuff away, just give it a little rub down just to make sure that they're stuck. And then those canvases are ready along with all the others. So before I forget, I do want to do A, B's. So I'm not putting any ABs with traditional foods. I actually do think, having thought about it, it may be nice to do some on her story. And it would definitely be nice to do some on the butterflies. Um, not so much the black and white ones. So I'm going to pull... I sort of like to be able to see what symbols I'm potentially playing with, should we say, uh, for this. Um, what sort of colours it ends up hitting. So probably not as much those ones. I do have some of my colours are currently in my doors set up, uh, but I do have all of these to keep me going. So let's have a look at her story first because I don't think there would necessarily be as many. So we've got the letter T and the letter M going round here, which is where I think would be a nice place to highlight. It's also in this lady's earrings, which would also be a nice place to highlight. So T is 307. Um, that one is actually 444, which is pretty much as bright as 307, like very, very close. I reckon we would get away with that. What's the letter M? 728, which is a bit more of an orangey colour. So maybe that 444 would be a nice one. Though that would also possibly be very nice for the butterflies as well. So because I am kitting up three sets and these will get de-kitted at the same time, I'm just going to move, in fact that's probably far too many, just a few into a small pot for using with her story. And I'm going to keep that one aside. This has the letter T as well, which, as we know, now know, is 307. So that's all going to work out. So I think that's definitely all I want to do on that one. I don't want a lot on these at all. I do think it is going to be the letter J will give us that little bit of sparkle here on this lady. It will give us the sparkle here and possibly on her lips. It is in a jacket as well, but I probably won't use it in her jacket. I'll use the normal 666. Now I know that that one is definitely in, um, it's in with my, my doors set. And it probably is a bit brighter than this one. So I will have to transfer that one over to here um, when I de-kit doors. 
Now normally I would have of course before I kitted these up I would have de-kitted doors uh, but I was a bit too excited when I realised it was an option. <laughs> so that's those two ladies done. I think this one the only thing that would potentially be very nice on this lady's earrings is either that letter P which is 701 or the letter Q which is 3818. They're both greens so we actually have 701. So we have 701 here, which is the letter P. It will just give us two here. Although actually the Q would allow us to just pop it in her eye as well. Ooh, but the eye is quite a bit darker. Let's have a look. 3818. Yes, that is quite a bit of a darker green. So it's pretty close to 980. It's not the right tone for 904. 906 is too bright as well. Um, it's similar. I mean, you find with ABs, because of the coating, they do give them a little bit of a different look anyway. The letter R is also 319. So this could work for the letter R, which is also in her eye. Uh, but I think that one next to that one would give that level of sparkle. So I'm going to go for it. I'm gonna go for that one, for the green, because I know it's not gonna be the darker green on the butterflies that I want to do. So I have two colors. And what I like to do when I have ABs in my paint gems is just put a little star next to the ones that I am replacing ABs with. So in this case, it will be the treble six as well when I pinch it out of doors. And I'm gonna pop those two in and leave space for 666. So when I go to do that colour, if I haven't already placed my ABs first, which I often do, um, when I go to look at these, I know that I have ABs for them. Okay, so that's her story done and I've taken out the bottles. I'm going to show you the very exciting way I'm going to deal with the extra bottles in a bit. I say exciting, I am being sarcastic. Okay, butterflies. So butterflies, we know we have 307, which I know will end up being a nice one. What else do we have? Okay, so we have one with purple. So either 554 or 553 would look nice. R is 550, that might be a little bit too dark. What's this one? That one's 208. Oh, it's definitely not close to 554. It's close-ish to 553, but actually 552 is a better match. It's sort of the next colour to 553. Um, and because these are, say, coated with AB, you get away with it a lot more. So we're gonna mark the number three. So that's the purple, which gets that purple butterfly out the way. And then we have some reds, which again, one of the bright reds is 666. The other one is sort of more of an orangey red, which is 946. I don't think I have an orangey color though. Not that's orangey red. They're either really dark orange or more bright. So I think it's going to be 666 again, which I'll need to take out of doors. Unless I actually have some... I probably have some on my normal ABs. <laughs> I do. I have loads of them. Look at this. I have loads of them and I have extra pots. So let me find my advent stickers. I want the hearts. I want the hearts in a square because they're square diamonds. I'm being funny. 
Um, square diamonds, square stickers, round diamonds, round figures. So let's actually label up a couple of pots because this is a popular colour that I use a lot for the reds with paint gem. I will say I do use these a lot. Um, and while it's not, should we say, as organised as I would like it to be, by having multiple pots of the same colour, because I often have multiple paint gems kitted up at the same time, um, not just including kitting up three at the same time, normally I kit them up separately, but I have more than one kitted up. I think this is actually going to work perfect because then I will have multiples of this red to choose from. So we're going to have one for this. Let's put the other one then in her story. So I'll just put that one straight in and then I don't need to worry about it when I de-kit doors, especially if I don't get to de-kit for a while after doing it. Uh, then we have some of the blues. I think some of the blues would look really nice as ABs. So what have we got? We've got the three dots, which is 995, and the heart, which is 996. And I know full well I have both of those. That's 995, and that's 996. So I actually have both. And instead of making a decision now, because I have both, I think I will just put both in the mix. So I've marked all the others with an asterisk. So let's, let's just have both of them. And then I can decide for each butterfly. I may decide to use both. I may decide to only use one. But that gives me options for that one and that one. That's got the red option. That's got the red slash orange. What's, oh, the letter F, 740. I think we decided I didn't have that one, did Oh no, I have 740. So let's add in the bright orange as well. So that's the red, bright orange. That's all reds. I think I just need to look at yellows. Uh, I've already got the letter T yellow, that one's already been done. That one's got some paler colours, 775. I think that's a different tone to that one. Oh, it's close though. Can we see how close that one is? That actually looks really quite close when it's together. Uh, though that is a lot on this one but it might make it very pretty. How many spots have I got? Two, four, six, seven. Okay, so I can only add one more after this. So let's do that blue. Oh, I haven't done a green. Although I have done the yellow, haven't I? I've got the yellow and the orange now. So I've got the letter F and the letter T, which is both of those. That's got F and T. That's got F but then has got the letter Y, which is 742, which I think was the one I didn't have. Oh no, I do have it. <laughs> no, let's just do the tips of that butterfly rather than all of it. Let's see if we've got a green. We'll keep that as a maybe. And let's see if we've got a green because I don't want to overcomplicate things. I would much rather stick this is quite a lot for butterflies, really. But I will only use probably one of them per butterfly, maybe two. Uh, I could actually stack them on top of each other, though, couldn't I? Because they're small bottles and they would fit. So let's just put it in as an option. Say, a lot of the time, I only decide these as I'm actually starting to diamond paint. I always start with the ABs. And then I add on um, the other diamonds afterwards. While we're going the whole hog, let me just check, because I know I did have a couple of brownie colours. Six, four, eight. They're not. 
644 is definitely lighter. 642 is a green. So what are these? O, M and N. So it is, it's those, 822. No, so I do have a few brownie ones, brown sort of coloured ones that I did get with my fan cells, but it actually doesn't match any of those. That would be the 842 as well, though what's the number two? 415, which is a grey. I do have a couple of greys. I have 414, but I don't have enough to do the whole pattern of the butterfly. So we will leave those, and that's got some blues if I do want to put it in. So last, but by no means least, let's have a look at the greens. So we have 906, 907. 906, 907, and then the letter P, 701. So I have 701. I have 906, though I don't have loads. Okay, so we've got 906. We're embracing the ABs today. 906 and 701. So if I do have the exact same colour in an AB, I will go for that one. However, if I don't have the exact colour, I will go for one that is one shade, one, a couple of shades either way. Um, because in ABs, there is a different look. So I don't mind doing that with those. But with butterflies, I have loads. And they all, oh, do they all fit in? Okay, they do if I put the top two on their side. They all fit in. That's the most ABs I think I've ever put with a paint gem mini. But I think the butterflies will look nice for it. Okay, so before we do the display books, let's get the canvases away. So I want to put the canvases in this bottom drawer, which is currently full of bottles. Um, I do have spare bottles floating about in one of my other drawers, but I am just going to put them in this drawer. This holds sort of extras of some of the storage types that I've got. Um, all the loose parts out of my paint gem boxes. So we'll put them in there. Very attractive, just a little drawer that fits in my Calax and now I have this nice and empty. So what I wanna do is mix these up. Where did I put traditional foods? I moved it out of the way. Did I really move it that much out of the way? They are all definitely butterflies. How am I missing a full what? Oh, because they're in between the books and the card. That's why. So I need to keep those. So we've got traditional foods, her story and butterflies. And I sort of want to mix them up in the best way that I can. I don't quite know if I'm best doing a bit of a pattern. Uh, if I'm best trying to grab them. So that's sort of one of each. But then we want, yeah, I am probably am best doing it this way, aren't I? Then we want traditional foods, butterfly before we shove another her story. So I am ending up with sort of a mixture in relation to the butterflies and the traditional foods but I am allowing a couple to sort of double up. So I may end up doing two butterflies followed by a couple of traditional foods. Like I'm not being too precious on which order. Uh, and then I'm throwing in a her story every now and then. I think I have more butterflies than traditional foods. Oh, that's one of each. No, we've got a, we've got a little bit of both. So I'm not paying attention to which way I sort of stack them up. So I may end up with a couple of each, one after the other, but they're sort of mixed. So they can go in there. I am gonna add one of my AB pens in there, 
just to remind me when I grab a canvas to grab the AB pen just to save me getting up again because I've forgotten so that is where my canvases will live until they're completed and then they'll go in my book so this is what I want to get ready now we'll start with her story because I think she'll be the easiest because we're not messing about with her so we are taking out that popping in the front she's got the old style picture frames come on there we go her story then we have the stickers and then and then we have the names so that I don't get confused and I want four pieces of card two three four I was I do often slip them into this but because there's only four let's just put them all in the front so once I finish one I'll take a piece of card mount it put the sticker on slip it in to the book so that's one book done these ones will take a little bit longer so butterflies we've got more butterflies two four six eight ten twelve 14 16 butterflies now I say these presentation books have 20 pockets I prefer to just have the one set in here so therefore I need to remove four pockets so I remove two from either side so in the middle I remove two hold up two and I use my scissors to cut them out sort of as close as I can it's not always the neatest I always like to start with the one I take the least pages out of as well because if I make a mistake it can just become the book for traditional foods <laughs> but if we get if we can get hold of it there we go I just lost my traction on it so I definitely have two pieces there two pieces there that have come out which leaves me with 16 pages I only like to do them front facing again it's just because of the thickness um, of the diamonds this retro book is all wet already thicker than the spine um, so while I'm, I'm fine with this I wouldn't want it to be twice as big um, and that really is personal preference for people so I want to put my front cover in for butterflies. I also need my card to tell me, of course, which is which. Otherwise, I have zero hope of knowing. And then I want 16 pieces of card. In fact, it's probably easier for me to take four out of one of these. I will recycle that to so take four out of there now as you can see popping that many pieces of card into that book is quite thick so I can for now I will just leave them tucked in so they're in with it but I may if I find I'm losing those pieces of card too often I may just slip them into each of the pockets just to keep them in place more than anything else now for traditional foods two four six eight ten twelve so we have less of these i don't think i have 12 sheets here two four i can't see it now if i can get it on angle two four six eight ten twelve i do bonus Saves me taking them out of a packet to put them back in a packet when I run out. Two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve. I like it when that happens. I did this in the right order. And then we'll take the front out. Pop the new front in. So it does work out well that they've sort of been mixed up. 
that occasionally I will do a couple of butterflies one after the other because there is more in that set. Um, quite often you can find though that there's more diamonds in this set than there is in the other one. Um, I know her story has a lot of diamonds um, and that is often just because of the amount of diamonds per picture. But both my stickers and my sheet go in there. So I have my three display books for my current paintings. I have my painting in the bottom. I have my diamonds and my ABs all in the top. And then I can open my drawer and go, okay, this butterfly is first. Take out the whole tray for butterfly. Go and sit down at the conservatory, get it completed, pop it in its book and then wait and see what the next one is. I could also potentially turn them upside down if I didn't want to see. What I have noticed by just doing that is that AB pen needs to go to the front <laughs> because I don't pull out the drawer fully when grabbing one of these. So I need to be able to see the AB pen. But yeah, I'm going to see how this goes. Um, working on three at a time. I do like the fact that this is on my desk and has a use, um, more so than just my little dumping pot on the top, which I will say is very handy. Um, but yeah, it's nice to know that it has paintings in it ready to go. And yeah, stay tuned. We'll see if it stays this way or if I go back to my other way of doing it or whether I end up doing it in a completely different way. Um, I can't answer which one that will be because it will depend on my mood. But anyway, thank you all for sticking with me uh, for this super duper kitting up preparation, etc. I have plenty of paint gems to keep me going uh, and I'm varying up those with ABs and those that aren't add that extra little bit of a sparkle every now and then. But yeah, thanks for watching and I'll speak to you all again soon.